Hi children, today we are going to read the book George Catches a Cold. Please click the like button if you like our video and also subscribe to our channel to watch more videos from us. We have got loads of books on Peppa Pig, Coco Milan, Louis, Hey Dougie and loads of puzzle books. You will enjoy them. Shall we read George Catches a Cold now? George Catches a Cold. Tommy Pig has said Peppa and George can play in the rain but they must wear rain clothes to keep them dry. But George hates wearing his rain hat. So he has thrown it in a muddy puddle. <laughs> George Grant. Come inside children, calls Daddy Pig. It's raining very hard now. Where is your hat, George? Asked Mommy Pig. Ach! Replaced George. Oh dear, George has got a cold. Achoo! Achoo! George can't not stop sneezing. Poor little George, says Mommy Pig. You don't look very well. Grunt. I will call Dr. Brown Bear, says Daddy Pig. Will George go to hospital? asks Peppa. No, George has to go to bed, replies Daddy. So George is not properly ill then, says Peppa, disappointed. George, you have to stay in bed until you are better, says Daddy Pig. Why? asks George. Because you have to keep warm, says Daddy. Dr. Brown Bear is here to see George. Open wide and say, ah, he says. George is a little bit worried. George is hiding his sheets with... Mr. Dinosaur. George finally comes out from his under his sheets and opens his mouth wide for Dr. Brownbeer to have a look inside. Ah. George has got a cold, says Dr. Brownbeer. He can have some warm milk at bedtime to help him sleep. Thank you, Dr. Bonbeer, says Mommy Pig. You are welcome. Goodbye, says Dr. Bonbeer before driving off in his special white car. The next morning, George wakes up early. The warm milk made him sleep very well. Oh, cries George. He is feeling much better. It's a lovely sunny day, but George is wearing his rain hat. He doesn't want to catch another cold. <laughs> oh, George, you don't need to wear your hat when it is warm and sunny. Mommy Pig tells him. <laughs> Everyone loves. <laughs> the end. Hope you all enjoyed reading this book, George Catches Cold. See you soon on another interesting book. Please subscribe to our channel to watch more videos from us. We have got lots of collections from Peppa Pig, Bluey, Hey Daddy, and lots of puzzle bits. You will love watching them. Bye.
children today we are going to read our 35th book from the incredible peppa pig collection of 50 peppa story books shall we see what it is it is george's only hat please click the like button to like our video and also subscribe to our channel to watch more videos from us we have got loads of books on Peppa Pig, Bluey, Hey Ducky, Coco Melon, Peter Rabbit, lots of puzzle books and mini library books. Sure, you will enjoy them. Shall we read George's Ugly Hat? Peppa and George are spending the day at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. George is wearing a new Ugly Hat. Don't get your new hat muddy, George, says Mummy Pig. We promise not to get George's hat muddy, says Grandpa Pig. Peppa and George are playing in the garden. It is a very windy day. Hold on to your hat, says Peppa. Wow, cries George as his hat sails up into the sky. Catch it, George, shouts Peppa. Whoosh! George chases his woolly hat right through the mud. Whoosh! George, you are all muddy, cries Papa. But George's hat is still clean. The wind blows his woolly hat across the garden. Oh no! George's woolly hat is caught in a tree. I will get it down for you, says Peppa. Grandpa Big and George watch as Peppa climbs up the tree. Perhaps I should help, says Grandpa Big. Oops, cries Peppa. Poor Peppa has fallen from the tree and landed in the mud. I see two little piggies who need a bath. Splat, says Grandpa Big. Next, George's hat blows on to some reeds in the pond. Luckily, your hat is still clean, George, says Grandpa Big. He grabs his stick and reaches across the pond. Don't fall in, says Peppa. I know what I am doing, Peppa, replies Grandpa Big. Splash! Grandpa Big falls into the mud. That was a silly thing to do, says Granny Big. Splash. We were trying to get George's hat back. Granny says Peppa, where is George's woolly hat? Now ask Granny Pig. Granny Pig spots the hat. It has landed on a spade. On a pile of stinky manure. If you walk on that manure, you will sink. Wants Grandpa Pig. Ha <laughs> ha. Grandpa Pig, shh, I have no intention of sinking, says Granny Pig laughing. Carefully, Granny Pig climbs over the manure until she reaches the woolly hat. Got it, she cheers. But then, Granny Pig falls over and lands in the heap of stinky manure. <laughs> Oh, smelly granny. Ho, ho, he, he. Says Peppa, Grandpa Pig, Peppa and George start to giggle. He, 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 he. Mommy Pig arrives to collect Peppa and George. Oh, <laughs> you promised not to let the children get muddy, cries Mommy Pig. Actually, you promised not to let George's hat get muddy. Says Grandpa Pig. George's hat is the only clean thing, says Mommy Pig. <laughs> the end. That was really a funny story, isn't it? It's a very windy day and George has a new woolly hat. Everyone promises Mommy Pig that they won't get George's hat muddy. Can they keep their promise? Yes, they did keep it, isn't it? Bye bye, children. See you soon on another interesting book. Until then, bye. Please subscribe to our channel to watch more videos from us. Learn with Peppa Pig, Level 3, Book 12. Stop that balloon. Peppa Pig and 
Jaja out with Granny and Grandpa Pray. They see Miss Abbott selling bright balloons from her cart. Granny Pig gets a green balloon for George. She explains that he must keep a tight grip on it. But George lets go. On the green balloon, floats off. Grandpa Pig grabs the string. George loves his green balloon. Polly Parrot likes the balloon too. Screech! Balloon! George soon forgets to grip his green balloon. He points to the trailing string as the balloon floats up the stairs. Granny Pig groans when she sees the balloon float out of the attic. She yells, stop that balloon. George starts to wave. Then they hear a screech from upstairs. Polly flaps her wings and sweeps into the sky. Will her flight bring back the balloon? Shhh! Polly swoops back down with the balloon. George is delighted. George is afraid to let go of his balloon now. Daddy Pig fixes the smooth string to his arm. He explains that will stop it floating off. Grandpa Pig exclaims, unless George floats off too. Snort! Have fun with Peppa Pig. You can tell the story using the pictures below. What was Miss Rabbit selling as well as balloon? Yes, ice cream. George loves his green balloon. Polly flaps her wings and sweeps into the sky. He explains that will stop it floating off. Who suggested George might float off too? Grandpa Pig. Who will catch George's new green balloon when it floats off? It's Polly the Parrot. The end. Bye. Peppa's Scooter Fun. Peppa is getting ready to go to playgroup today. Madam Gazelle has asked everyone to travel to class in their favorite way. Can George and I scooter to playgroup today? Peppa asked excitedly. Please! Ho ho! Of course, says Daddy Pig. Scoot, scoot! Mommy and Daddy Pig have decided to use their scooters too. This is a really good fun. Look around for things around you. Flowers, trees, dogs. Wee! Zoom! Everyone will love our scooters, George. Even Mommy and Daddy think they are amazing. Mm -hmm. 
art play group everyone shows madam grizzle their favorite way to travel i love my roller skates says molly moon zipping around My chair is really speedy, says Mandy Mouse. My bicycle has a bell, says Danny Dog. Ding ding ding. Look, I have a new skateboard, says Rebecca Rabbit. Suddenly there is a loud noise. Nina. Peggy and Pandora Panda. Their daddy has driven them to play group in his police car. What a wonderful siren! cries Madame Gazelle. It is very loud, says Pandora. The car has a light too, says Peggy. Would you like to stay for our lesson? Madame Gazelle asked police officer Panda. We are learning about the different ways we all like to travel. Police officer Panda sets up some traffic cones. Let's see how safely you all get around. The children all love showing off how they can move safely between the cones. It's lots of fun. Remember to pay attention always. Don't go too fast and if you are scootering, biking or skating, always wear your helmet, says police officer Panda. My helmet has flames on it, says Danny proudly. It's the best. Mine is best, says Zoe Zebra. It has spots like a ladybird. Dinosaur, says George, pointing to his helmet. Oh dear, nobody can agree on whose helmet is the best. Children, Says Madame Gazelle, you all have wonderful helmets and you all have wonderful ways of getting around. But who's is best? asks Zoe. Madame Gazelle tells the children that the best helmet and way of traveling is the one they each like most. Papa raises her hand. I like my scooter the best. I am really good at scootering. Watch. Papa scoots. And whoosh. And zooms. Zoom. Police officer Panda thinks Peppa scooter looks like fun. He gives it a go. My police car might have a siren, but Peppa scooter is best for me. Whee! The children cheer and join in. Peppa loves scooters. Everyone loves scooters. The end. Hi children. Today we are going to read the book George Catches a Cold.
please click the like button if you like our video and also subscribe to our channel to watch more videos from us we have got loads of books on peppa pig coco melon louis hey daddy and loads of puzzle books you will enjoy them shall we read george catches a cold now george catches a cold mommy pig has said peppa and george can play in the rain but they must wear rain clothes to keep them dry but george hates wearing his rain hat so he has thrown it in a muddy puddle he <laughs> he george grant come in said children call daddy pig it's raining very hard now where is your hat george asked mummy pig ach replaced george oh dear george has got a cold ach ach george can't not stop sneezing poor little george says mummy pig You don't look very well, Grant. I will call Doctor Brown Bear," says Daddy Pig. Will George go to hospital? asks Peppa. No, George has to go to bed," replies Daddy. So George is not properly ill then," says Peppa, disappointed. George you have to stay in bed until you are better says Daddy Pig Why asks George because you have to keep warm says Daddy Dr Brown Bear is here to see George open wide and say ah he says George is little bit worried George is hiding his sheets with Mr Dinosaur George finally comes out from his under his sheets and open his mouth wide for Dr Brown Bear to have a look inside ah George has got a cold says Dr Brown Bear He can have some warm milk at bedtime to help him sleep. Thank you, Doctor Brown Bear," says Mummy Pig. "You are welcome. Goodbye," says Doctor Brown Bear before driving off in his special white car. The next morning, George wakes up early. The warm milk made him sleep very well. Oh, cries George. He is feeling much better. It's a lovely sunny day, but George is wearing his rain hat. He doesn't want to catch another cold. <laughs> oh, George, you don't need to wear your hat when it is warm and sunny. Mummy Pig tells him. <laughs> Everyone loves <laughs> the end. Hope you all enjoyed reading this book. George catches cold. See you soon on another interesting book. Please subscribe to our channel to watch more videos from us. We have got lots of collections from Peppa Pig, Bluey, Hey Daddy, and lots of puzzle books. You will love. watching them bye we are going to read george's potty papa and susie sheep are having a tea party at peppa's house would teddy like some tea asked susie suddenly sniff sniff oh says susie what's that smell poo poo says george 
Mummy calls Peppa. George needs the party. It's a little late for that, says Mummy Pig, sniffing. <laughs> Let's get you cleaned up, George. Yay, cries George. Mummy says, Peppa, why can't George use the toilet like I do? He's a bit little for that, replies Mummy Pig. First, he needs to learn how to use the potty. I used to sit on the potty like this, George, says Peppa, using Teddy to show him. George, next time you need to go, call the magic word, potty, says Mummy Pig. Potty, says George. Hey, cheer, Peppa and Susie. Peppa, Susie and George are pretending to be giants. Fee fo fo cries Peppa. I smell the smell of your fresh George. He 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 says George, hurrying to hide. Peppa soon finds George's hiding place. Got you, she says. We says George, giggling. Daddy calls Peppa. George needs the party. Remember George, says Daddy Big. When you need to poo poo or wee wee, just to say party. Peppa starts to sing. The magic word is party. So when you go to go, call her out for your party. The magic word is party. Party. George calls. Well then, George, says Peppa. Just like that. Party. George cries again. Party. Oh, says Daddy Pig, chuckling. I think George actually wants his party. Yay. Now, George is almost grown up, says Peppa. Just like me, everyone. Cheers. Hooray. Everyone loves learning to use the party. Everyone loves learning to use the party. George loves learning to use the party. Yes. Hope you like watching this video. Please subscribe to watch more videos. Today we are going to read Peppa Pig George's Tractor. I'm sure you all love this book, so watch till the end so you don't miss anything. And let's start reading. George's Tractor. Peppa and George are spending the day at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. We're very glad you're here, said Grandpa Pig. You can help us harvest the vegetables. Hooray, said Peppa and George, jumping up and down. Grandpa, what does harvest the vegetables mean? asked Peppa. Ho, ho. Grandpa Pig chuckled. When we harvest the vegetables, it means we pick them so we can eat them. Ooh, said Pepper. Yummy. Yummy, cried George, rubbing his tummy. Let's go and harvest, said Granny Pig. It's good job we've got our boots on. It's very muddy out here. Peppa and George have lots of fun helping Granny and Grandpa Pig harvest their vegetables. 
Soon, there were huge piles of vegetables all around them. What a big harvest, Grandpa gasped Pepper. Yes, it is Pepper, replied Grandpa Pig. The biggest we've had in a long time. Isn't that right, Granny Pig? Uh, Granny Pig, but where are you? Pepper, George and Grandpa Pig looked around. They couldn't see Granny Pig anywhere. Over here, shouted Granny Pig, poking her head out from a tall pile of carrots. Ah, there you are, said Grandpa Pig, smiling. Granny, said Pepper, you look a bit cavity. George giggled. Ha ha ha. Gang giggle. Next, we need to get all these vegetables into those crates over there, said Grandpa Pig, pointing to the other side of the garden. All the vegetables, Grandpa asked Pepper. Yes, replied Grandpa Pig, every single one. Everyone looked at the enormous piles of vegetables. Oh, said Pepper. Pepper, Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig began carrying the vegetables over to the crates. The crates were far away. Pepper looked around. Where's George? Brum, brum. Tractor, cried George. He loaded up his toy tractor trailer with lots of vegetables and moved them over to the crates. That's very clever, George, said Granny Pig. Your tractor will make this much easier. Brum, brum. Everyone helped George and load and unload his tractor. That's everything, said Grandpa Pig. Thank you for your help, Farmer George and Farmer Pepper. Brum, brum. Tractor, said George. What are we going to do with all the vegetables now, Grandpa? Asked Pepper. We can't all eat them all, can we? No, Pepper. I don't think we can eat them all, replied Grandpa Pig. I know a special place where we can take them, said Gran Granny Pig. It's somewhere you and George will enjoy visiting. Yippee, cried Pepper and George. George and Grandpa Pig took Pepper and George to a farmer's market. At a farmer's market, farmers and growers sell their fruits and vegetables, Granny Pig explained. Brum, brum! George was excited to see all the big tractors. Brum, brum! Tractor! he shouted. George spotted an enormous tractor and pointed. Brum, brum! Big tractor? Wow, I think that's the biggest tractor I've ever seen, George, said Granny Pig. Well, George and Granny Pig went to see the big tractor. Pepper started setting up a stool for the vegetables. Suddenly, they heard a loud rumbling noise. Brum, brum! It was George and Miss Badger's tractor, carrying all the crates of vegetables. Wow! gasped Pepper. George is on a real tractor. Big tractor! cried George as everybody unloaded the crates. Thank you, Farmer George, said Grandpa Pig. Now? Our vegetable store is all ready. Farmer George and Fa Farmer Pepper and Farmer George had lots of fun selling vegetables. Rebecca cried Pepper, spotting Rebecca Rabbit. Come and buy some of our vegetables. Ooh, what a lo lot of lovely carrots, said Mummy Rabbit. How did you get them all here? 
Blum, blum, big tractor, said George. I see, said Mummy Rabbit. I would like to buy all of your carrots, please. There were lots of customers at the farmer's market. Farmer Pepper, Farmer George, Granny and Grandpa Pig were very busy selling their vegetables. Hello, Farmer Pepper. Hello, Farmer George, said Daddy Pig. Hello, Daddy, said Pepper. What would you like? Um, said Daddy Pig, looking at the empty store. Oh, said Pepper, we don't have anything left. Never mind, said Mummy Pig. It's time to go home now. What would you like for supper? Carrots, please, said Pepper. As you sold all the years, we'll have to get some from the shop, said Mummy Pig. But how will we get there? Brum, brum, tractor, cried George. George loved the farmer's market, but he loved tractors even more. Brum, brum, tractor. Eh, George loves tractors. Everyone loves tractors. That is today's book, George's Tractor. If you enjoyed today's book, please consider subscribing so you can explore all our amazing books together. And for now, see you next time. Dentist Trip Peppa Pig, Dentist Trip Every morning, Peppa and George brush their teeth. Scrub, 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 scrub. George, are your teeth as clean as mine? Peppa asks. Showing off her clean white teeth. You both have lovely clean teeth. I'm sure the dentist will be happy, says Daddy Pig. Later that day, Papa and George are at the dentist waiting for their checkup. It's George's first visit at the dentist. Peppa, George, the dentist will see you now, says Miss Rabbit, the nurse. Hooray! They both cheer. This is Dr. Elephant, the dentist. Who is first? I am first, replies Peppa. I am a big girl. George, you watch me. Open wide, please. Uh, Peppa opens her mouth as wide as she can. Let's take a look. Hmm, she's checking Peppa's teeth with a mirror. There, all done. What lovely clean teeth. Now you can have a special drink. Gargle too. Peppa spits the pink liquid out into the sink. It's George's turn now. George is sitting on the chair.
George does not want it to be his turn. Hmm. So the dentist lets him hold Mr. Dinosaur. George, you have a very strong, clean teeth. All done. But wait, what is this? George has clean teeth, but this young dinosaur's teeth are very dirty. The water jet, please, Miss Rabbit, orders the dentist. He uses the water to clean Mr. Dinosaur's teeth. Slosh, slosh, slosh. Pink, cries George, picking up a glass. That's right, George. Mr. Dinosaur needs some special pink drink. Gurgle, gurgle. Gosh, what shiny teeth you have, Mr. Dinosaur. Dinosaur. George loves Mr. Dinosaur, especially now that he has nice clean teeth. The end. Peppa, George and Mr. Dinosaur are going to the dentist. It's George's first visit and he's a teeny bit nervous. Find out how the trip goes in this lovely little adventure.